Hello and welcome to my channel. So today we are going to learn how to make this sweater. My name is Faith. So you're welcome and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, maybe this is your first time here, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. meet my friend her name is Puffy so we need the following in this tutorial we need a three millimeter crochet hook we need a four millimeter crochet hook we need stitch markers a cutter you can substitute it with a pair of scissors we also need a darning needle but it's optional and a measuring tape and of course yarn so for the yarn I am using a fingering yarn it's robin it's a fingering yarn so um i'll be doubling my strands in order to achieve the medium weight size so you can you can substitute with any medium weight side size for this project so and i'd also recommend you watch this video to the end for you to get clear understanding before you start making this beautiful cardigan or sweater so this is the back panel. I made it off the camera. The measurements. It's 19.5 19 inches wide. And the height. Let me fold it twice. For it to be easy to take the measurements so the height is 25 inches long so for the back panel it's very easy you will crush it you will crush it until your project is 18 18 inches long and then from there you will decrease both sides as you can see so you, you will decrease just two two inches and then from there you're going to make constant stitches without decreasing the height is 5.5 sorry this should be three this should be three inches yeah it's three inches and therefore here distance from here to here is 5.5 so the whole of it this is the armhole it should be 8.5 8.5 times 2 so the circumference of the armhole should be 17 inches yeah that's it so let's jump into our tutorial so we will start with our 3.0 millimeter hook so to begin we are going to start by making a slip knot and then we are going to chain 16 after making our 16 chains we are going to use single crochet stitch so this is the ribbing part this part here so after chaining 15 sorry after chaining 16 that is 15 plus 1 you're going to skip the first sti stitch or chain and um, this is the first and into the next you're going to make a single crochet stitch and by the end you should be having a total of 15 single crochet stitches by the end you should be having a total of 16 single 15 sorry 15 single crochet stitches i'm done with my first row so i have 15 single crochet stitches 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 
15. So for row 2, you're going to make a single crochet stitch on both loops. So insert your hook in both loops for the first stitch and for the for the next 13 stitches here in the middle except the last one you're going to make single crochet back loop only so this loop the loop facing the other side not the one facing you make a single crochet stitch sorry for that sound so by the end of this row you should be having 15 single crochet stitches so the stitches will be constant the number will be constant so let's meet in the last stitch so into our last stitch we are going to grab both loops and make our last single crochet stitch so you see this ridge so this is the pattern so you're going to repeat just the second row that's how we'll be doing until your work is 16 inches long without stretching 16 inches long without stretching or equivalent to 80 rows of single crochet stitches so let's meet when we have 80 rows of single crochet stitch and then i'll tell you i'll show you what to do next into our last row to our last stitch Make your last single crochet stitch. You will chain one with your pair of scissors. Cut the yarn. So by the end, as I had mentioned, this should be 16 inches long without stretching. Now final work. And there it is. There it is, 16 inches without stretching. So with our yarn, let this be my right side because the other one has some mess. So I prefer this because this is neater. So this will be my right side. So I will start by making a slip knot like that and therefore I'm going to attach it into this first chain or last chain. And each, each line should get a single crochet stitch and by the end you should be having 80 single crochet stitches. So continue and let's meet the other end. And you should be careful about this because the first panel has 80. So this other one should also have 80. single crochet stitches into our last stitch so make sure they are 80 the stitch we are going to use needs even numbers because we are going to use two two types of stitches as you can see 
for sure i don't know the name of the stitch so if you know please let me know it looks like suzette but it's not because suzette you you have to put uh, you in in one stitch you place two stitches that is single crochet and double crochet stitch but for this it's a little bit different so i don't know if it's suzette's sister mother cousin but let me know please because i really love this stitch and i want to use it in most of my tutorials for especially for making cardigans so please 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 let me do, let me know the name of the stitch so after making our 80 single crochet stitches we are going to shift to four millimeter hook for, sorry four yeah four millimeter crochet hook so you will chain one and you're going to start by making a single crochet stitch followed by a double crochet stitch followed by single crochet stitch next double crochet stitch next single crochet stitch so it's like that single double single double until the end so let's meet in the other side and then i'm going to tell you what to do in row number three single double crochet stitch and we are grabbing both loops double crochet stitch you yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop you have three loops in your hook pull out two and pull out two so that's a double crochet stitch We are finishing our row with a double crochet stitch. So this is our first row using this stitch. To the next row, you're going to chain one. And where we placed a double crochet stitch, is now going to ha to get a single crochet stitch and where we placed a single crochet stitch is going to get a double crochet stitch let's see how so after chaining one into your previous double crochet stitch you're going to place a single crochet stitch and into your previous single crochet stitch you're going to place a double crochet stitch so this is it and it's easier to not even if maybe for example you're crocheting and then you stop you start doing another work and then you come back you cannot get confused on which stitch to do next because there is a difference between double crochet stitch and a single crochet stitch a single crochet stitch is shorter than the double crochet stitch double crochet stitch is a little bit longer so you can tell you can tell you can tell which stitch you're supposed to place in the next space so this is the pattern if you haven't understood just feel free and rewind the video for clear understanding but this is basically it and now we are going to do this until our work is 18 inches long let me confirm but you see the stitch it's so beautiful it's so nice so let me confirm how many how many inches From where we placed our stitch marker yes 18 
18, 18, 18, 18.5 18 there. So let's meet when our work is there at 18, 18.5. Let's meet there. So I'm here at 18.5. So you will need your stitch markers. You're going to put on both sides because now here we are going to start degre decreasing our work just as we just as I did in this other side so this is how we do the decrease if you feel the stitch marker is bringing disturbance you can pluck it out and then put it back later. So you chain one and into the first stitch you're going to make a single crochet stitch but you're not going to finish it. And then into the next make another single crochet. Don't finish it. You have three loops in your hook. Yarn over, pull out all of them. And don't forget to return the stitch marker where you had placed it before. So from there, the next stitch, the previous stitch is a double crochet stitch. So it's going to get a single crochet stitch and into the next double crochet stitch. And you'll continue like that until you reach into the other end, make another decrease. So let's meet in the other end. Okay, now we are left with two stitches. So what you do here, we are going to make another decrease. Single crochet stitch, but you don't finish it up. And into the last stitch also, go ahead and make another single crochet stitch. Don't finish it up. And then you're going to yarn over, pull out all of them. Chain one. So we're going to do just what we did in this other side. So let me show you once again. After chaining one into the first stitch, make a single crochet stitch, don't finish it up. Into the next, make another single crochet stitch, don't finish it up. And then you're going to yarn over, you have three loops on your hook, and pull out all of them. Three. Now, into the next, this is a shorter stitch, it's a single crochet stitch, so meaning the next stitch here will be a double crochet stitch. like that a longer one is a double crochet stitch so it's going to get a single crochet stitch shorter one is a single crochet stitch and she should get a double crochet stitch so that is it hope this is clear on how to decrease so if you haven't understood you can just rewind the video and watch it again so we are going to do this until we have six rows of decreasing so let's meet after those six rows of decreasing let's finish our last row number six together So our last stitch is a double crochet stitch. So for decreasing, going to make a single crochet stitch. Don't finish it up to the last stitch. Another incomplete single crochet stitch. You have three loops in your hook. Yarn over, pull out all of them. So we are done making our decreases. So these six rows of decreasing, when you stretch it a little bit, it's equal to three inches. The distance from here to here should be three inches. There it is. So you need 
two stitch markers but now I'm going to improvise we can use a contrasting yarn we can use it as a stitch marker so we are going to mark this stitch here and do the same in this other side so you're going just to fold it into half like this and therefore into this very first stitch do it like that so from here we are going to make constant stitches we are not going to make any increases or decreases until we need it to be 5.5 yeah from here to here should be from here to here should be 5.5 inches so we are going to make until it's like you're going to leave like uh, 1.5 inches no sorry i'm not that's not what i mean but okay let's do this let's continue making constant stitches without making any decreases but when we reach somewhere here we are going to leave a space for the neck and therefore continue with this portion here i'm going to show you how so don't worry about it so we are not as i've said we are not going to make any increases or decreases so you're going to chain one turn your work into this previous stitch was a single crochet stitch and this other one is a single crochet stitch so what we we'll do just make another single crochet stitch here into the next make a double crochet stitch and therefore you're going to continue like that that one is going to get a single so that we don't mess with our pattern so let's continue let me just be specific the measurement here is 5.5 as you can see so what i want i don't want us to to be the same level so what we'll do you're going to leave one and a half inch so 5.5 minus 1.5 5.5 minus half and one so i think it's four okay, let's. so this is 5.5 so when you subtract 1.5 here what do we have four exactly so that so i was right so make continue making constant stitches until your work is four inches long without stretching four inches long and therefore from there i'm going to tell you what we are going to do next so continue until your work is four inches long so I made this part of the camera, but, but don't worry about it. I'm going to explain how, to, how, I, how I came up with that. So <clears throat> after making our four inches rows, <clears throat> you're going to fold your work into two. Determine the middle stitch. Here it is. Insert your hook like that or a stitch marker lay it down flat with your measuring tape 
the neck opening should be eight inches so with your measuring tape from this side we are going to take four inches and the other side four inches totaling up to eight inches so like that so you see our four inches there so same applies with this other side like that there so we are going to shift this crochet hook to here so meaning now distance from here <coughs> sorry to here should be eight eight inches as you can see so so here where we've inserted our crochet hook we're going to make a slip knot chain one a slip knot yeah so you insert there and this is a single crochet stitch so it's going to get a double crochet stitch so you're going to chain one and into the same stitch go ahead and make a double crochet stitch into the next it's a double crochet stitch so it's going to get a single crochet stitch so we are going to make four rows which will be equal to three to four rows which will be equal to one and a half inches So we are finishing our first row so you're going to chain one you turn your work so you're going to start with a single crochet stitch so continue until you have three to four rows you're going to measure it depends with the with your attention so you're going to measure with your measuring tape if three rows is equal to one one and a half inches that's good that's okay and if four rows are equal to one and a half inches it's also okay because the point is the height this height here should be 1.5 inches or one and a half inches <coughs> sorry you can see it's one and a half so that's the point no matter how many rows you're going to make but as long as they are adding up to 1.5 inches that is okay so i'm done with my four rows so i'm going to chain one and with our pair of scissors I'm going to cut the yarn tighten it so the next step we are going to assemble the two panels so this is the front panel and this is the back panel so determine the wrong side where do you want it to be the wrong side for me is this yeah what about this other one yes like that so for the two panels the front panel the right side should be facing us and uh, for the back panel the wrong panel should be facing us so the next step you're going to make the sleeves but before the sleeves we need to join here and here so with your crochet hook we're going to make a slip knot and we are going to join this part we'll be using single crochet stitches in joining
you will turn into the right side after finishing joining so what we are going to do next in this side we are going to make single crochet stitches in the sleeves start by making a slip knot and you will make single crochet stitches all around and by the end you should be having 66 single crochet stitches for that base and then from there we are going to start making our decreases after making the 66 single crochet stitches you are going to make the decreases and remember this always or whenever you are you are starting a new row you are going to make a decrease and in making decreases you are going to start by making two two single crochets together so you will continue doing the decreases whenever you start a new row until you are left with 42 stitches single crochet stitches so after the 42 single crochet stitches you will continue without decreasing until your work is 20.5 inches long and then from there i'm going to show you the final step that is the ribbing for the cuffs the sleeve cuffs so we are done making our single crochets all round so to begin a new row you're going to make that decrease as you have seen i've put two single crochet stitches together and uh, i made that decrease just the same as we did in the in the front panel so we'll continue with our stitch that is alternating double crochet stitch and a single crochet stitch continue alternating until you reach into the other side and when you reach into the other side just remember just we've said whenever you start a new row you're going to make a decrease and this decrease we are continue making it until your work is 42 you're left with 42 stitches and remember this is for the size i'm making so if you are making another a different size so you can adjust so if you're making the same size with this one of mine so these are the steps to follow so continue continue let's meet when we are about to finish this round Forty two stitches. So see what I'm doing. I'm going to place a single crochet here into the next I'm going to place a double crochet stitch and we are going to finish our round our row with a single crochet stitch you will chain one turn your work right, let's make that decrease so insert your hook into the first stitch and the second first and the second without finishing 
you have three loops on your hook yarn over pull out all the three so that's a decrease just as we did in the front panel so since that is a single crochet stitch the next will be a double crochet finishing up my last row So the measurement should be 20.5 so let's confirm if it's so we'll start measuring here on the top so there we are exactly 20 5. so this is according to me so if you are making a different size you have to check your measurements but if you are making the same size as me as this one of mine then that's the measurement so the next step you're going to shift to three millimeter crochet hook It's a three millimeter crochet hook. So now we are doing the ribbing part like this other side. So for the ribbing, you're going to chain 10 plus one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, but you can feel free to adjust if you want it longer than that so you're going to skip the first stitch into the second make a single crochet stitch you'll make your single crochet stitch until they are 10 so let's meet when you have 10 single crochet stitches I'm here now with my 10 single crochet stitches so what we are going to do next the next stitch you're going to make a single crochet stitch into the next make another single crochet stitch turn your work you're going to skip these two single crochet stitches and into the third you're going to make a single crochet back loop only so by the end you should be having 10 single crochet stitches and then the last stitch you're going to grab to grab both loops let me show you that sorry for the background it's raining but hope you can hear me clearly so for the last stitch here we are going to grab both loops so to start another row you're going to chain one you turn your work going to grab both loops for the first stitch and into the rest back loop only and by the end you should be having 10 single crochet stitches before joining to the main this main body so you should be having 10 single crochet stitches this last stitches is always hidden so you have to be very careful you see you cannot tell you still have one stitch until you pull this loop backwards so there are two ways that can help you to remember this stitch you can either use a stitch marker or always you count your stitches always count your stitches so if you're not familiar with this technique so please you can choose either the two you either use a stitch marker so your stitch marker you're going to place it here you're going to skip these two and into the third where you are going to make your first single crochet back loop 
you 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 put your stitch marker there so it helps you to 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 see it because it sometimes hides or alternatively you can just count for me i'm used to it because this i, I really like using this technique so I, I always know so wherever i reach there i just push that loop backwards and then i find my stitch so if it's not easy for you you can please do what i've just said so always remember the first stitch should you should grab your you should be grabbing both loops but for the rest for the nine stitches you're going to do the back loop thing so when you are done when you reach to this other side you're going to fold it you turn it this is the right side so you'll turn it into the wrong side you'll turn it into the wrong side like that and therefore with three millimeter hook you're going to join when you are done this side you're going to use a three millimeter hook for the first 10 stitches and for the rest you'll be using a four millimeter crochet hook or a darning needle and you'll be making slip stitches so that's what i did the other hand so you 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 can use your crochet hook but this side you can use a four millimeter and this ribbing part you use a three millimeter crochet hook but if you're comfortable with using uh, your darning needle it's also fine so another thing i did off the camera i feel i should explain about it so here i started in the back here and i chained only five and i did the same as we are doing in the in the hand here here in the, the cuff so you chain five and then the first stitch you grab both loops and always after making two single crochet stitches when turning you skip two and into the third you make a back loop into the fifth you're going to grab both loops so this is it and our sweater our cardigan is ready so I'm going to show you the picture of the final look of this beautiful sweater. So thank you very much. Thank you for your support. And please don't forget to share this information with others whom you feel maybe they can be interested in creating this. And if you recreate it, don't forget to tag me. On Instagram, crocheting in style, Facebook page, crocheting in style, TikTok, crocheting in style too. So, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so whenever I upload a new video, the YouTube will notify you. So, thank you very much. I love you all, and bye bye.